One of my favourite ideas from my book is called rag marking, R-A-G for red, amber and green. Teachers often spend an inordinate amount of time marking books and their work-life balance is affected by that. Who is the marking for? Why are we marking? For me, marking has to have value, purpose, but also be manageable. Marking is informing your planning. A simple idea of having three boxes, one red, one amber and one green, for the end of a lesson and then asking children to pop their work into a box. Initially, you need to get the children trained into being totally honest about how they felt they had completed a task. If a child puts it into the green box, they're sending you the message that they felt very, very confident and secure in the work they were doing. Those who put it into the orange box tend to be saying, I think I might need a little bit more help. I'm, I'm a bit undecided. I found it quite a challenge and there were some aspects I struggled with. And finally, the red box. This is where a child is saying to you, I really found this difficult. I need some more support. I need some more help. And they're the books you're going to look at first. You're going to mark those ones. You'll be able to assess very, very quickly what the next steps are or even just revisiting for that group of children. And then the other books may just need a light touch. And these are just little tips to help differentiate your marking so you're not going through and getting to that last book in the pile thinking, I've spent three hours marking.